purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the drilling log. Navigate to the drilling log by clicking the Rig Data button, then by clicking the Drilling Log button. The drilling log displays data from the simulator session. The drilling log can be broken down into the following elements. The graph area, the graph controls, the trend controls. Currently, there is a lot of data being plotted on the graph. There is no limit to the number of trends that can be displayed at one time. Click on any of the buttons in the trend control area to customize the trend options. You may change the color of the line, the style of the line, the Y scale, disable the trend, or remove it completely. In the trend controls area, notice the scroll bar on the right hand side. Use the scroll bar to navigate to the additional trends that are being displayed on the graph. To simplify this tutorial, we will remove all of the trends from the plot. Click an unneeded trend, and then click the Remove Trend button. Repeat as necessary. Great. We now have a blank graph. Let's use bottom hole pressure and formation pressures as parameters to explain the remaining functionality of this screen. Click the Add Chart button. Locate and select bottom hole pressure. The trend is now displayed on the chart as well as in the trend control area. Do the same for formation pressure. Awesome. We are now trending bottom hole and formation pressure. The drilling log defaults to red solid lines when adding trends. Click formation pressure and change the color to something different. Now, looking at the trends, the well appears to be underbalanced. Let's look at the chart settings to see if this is actually true. We need to be sure that the Y scale of the two plots is the same. Looking just above each button, you can see the current Y scaling for each. They are definitely not the same. Click bottom hole pressure to set the scale. Adjust the Y axis upper and lower bounds. Repeat the process for formation pressure. It is now possible to tell that the well is in fact overbalanced. However, there is this section over here where it is still hard to tell. Adjust the Y scale if needed to make it easier to see the areas of concern. That's a bit better, but we can still do more. Click on the chart itself to bring up the inspection tool. When the inspection tool is visible, the buttons in the trend control area display the data at that given point in time. As the simulation runs, notice that the white line remains its position in time. So be careful when reading the data on the trend buttons as they may not be displaying the most current data. To remove the inspection tool, click this button. To adjust the X scaling, use the zoom in and zoom out buttons. When I click zoom in, the X scale adjusts, showing more of the section that we want to inspect. The final set of controls are the left and right arrows. These are the alternate controls to move the inspector. Click the left arrow. The inspector tool appears and begins to scroll back through the data. Click the left button again to stop the inspector. Once I am done, to avoid confusion, I always remove the inspector. This concludes the tutorial video for the drilling log. Thanks for watching.